you enjoyed our last week's video. This time we are going to feature our very first Misfit and the reason that I started this Island of Misfit Morphs program, which is a nonprofit organization that takes in defective, disabled, and or injured animals and uses them for education. So this is Anna. She's an albino Colombian boa constrictor. She was sent to us because she got an infection and is missing the right eye. It is not a genetic thing, so she could have possibly been bred, but he wasn't able to keep her. As a breeding female, he wanted to give her a new home, and since he couldn't sell her as a perfect animal, he went ahead and sent it to us. So she was how I came up with the idea to send my name out to breeders and add more animals to our collection. So I didn't know how many animals actually needed rehoming until I started putting my name out there. So we went from this snake to about 28 in the first two years, and we have kind of fluctuated here and there <clears throat> since then. We do adopt out some. Uh, any that we don't use in our program, we do send out to homes at a very small adoption fee. Mostly it depends on how much vet care we put into them or how much shipping, how much food. It really depends on what we spend on them as to what somebody else will pay for them. So we don't sell them for normal retail prices. We usually try to get it as low as possible. And we also make sure that people can take care of the animal and are set up for the animal before it goes to its new home. So Anna here. She is, uh, I think, about six years old. I'll actually have to double check that because I'm not quite sure at this point. I lose track of time. It goes by really fast. <laughs> but she is about seven, a little over seven feet long last time I measured her. She is an awesome, awesome animal. We actually just did our zoo show today and she did wonderful around all the kids. She is a really fantastic boa constrictor. So she's kind of got me wrapped up here. But she's a big, big cuddly girl and a great eater. So if you're looking at getting a snake and you don't want to go for a ball python as a beginning snake, then boa constrictors are one of the better ones to, to think about as long as you can handle the large uh, adult size. So like I said, she's about six feet long or seven feet long and they can get quite a bit bigger than that. <clears throat> so they do need a decent sized enclosure and you are going to be cleaning up some big poop. So if you're looking into a little bit larger snake than a ball python that has a pretty decent temperament, you still have to work with them a lot when they're babies and handle them as much as you can. But boa constrictors are a really great choice. They come in some really amazing color morphs and there's a lot of wonderful breeders out there producing fantastic animals. So if you have any questions about getting a new snake or what to, what to get, what to look for, then please message me or send me, drop a comment down the bottom. We'll try to help you out as much as we can. So Anna is one of our very best ambassador animals. She's been handled since she was a baby. She has been to a lot of our shows. She's met hundreds and hundreds of people. But even with that said, we always try to make sure that nobody gets near her face, nobody reaches for her face, nobody sticks their face in her face, which kids do like to do a lot to animals. And we always make sure her headspace is controlled by us when other people are handling her. So no matter how calm a snake might be, there's always a chance that it might have a bad day or it gets startled by something that it's not used to. So it's always a good idea to keep their headspace controlled, especially in a large crowd and with lots of little kids around who like to poke things. So when we do our, our shows, we always make sure we tell the people to stay away from their he head and neck. And it's all, just a personal space thing as well. You don't want strangers coming up and poking you in the eye or um, sticking their finger in your nose, <laughs> unless that's something that you like but most animals do not like. <laughs> so we do try to make sure people realize that they have to respect the headspace because this is the side that keeps the teeth and if somebody gets bit, we are liable. So if we get bit, it's no big deal. I've been bit many, many times and it doesn't faze me whatsoever, but if somebody else gets bit, then it is a liability and it can hurt our program and our message as well as the reputation for these animals. We're trying to get people to where they're not fearful of these animals so they respect them they are fascinated by them and uh, having a bite incident at one of our shows really does hurt that. So always make sure if you are out there doing education, which is fantastic, that you always have control of your animals, especially the larger snakes, make sure nobody gets near the head. So she is very, very tolerant, but like I said, everybody has bad days, animals and people alike. So make sure that you are keeping you, your animals, and the public safe when you're out doing education. And I absolutely push people to be out there in schools, Boy Scout camps, 
your church, it doesn't matter where, just share these animals with the world because we absolutely love doing it. But I think that's about it for us today. Um, I have a little bit of a, a tough week coming up, but I actually get to leave for Tinley Park Reptile Show on when? Thursday. Thursday. So we're going to go to Tinley Park for the weekend and uh, hopefully get to see quite a few of you. Uh, look for my rainbow unicorn dress on Saturday because that's what I will be wearing. You can't miss me. I'll probably have my unicorn backpack too just so everybody knows I'm there. So please don't be shy. Come up and say hello. Introduce yourself. I'm not mean, I promise. I'm one of the nicest people you'll meet and I'm always accepting and love meeting new people. So please come say hi to me if you're at Tinley Park this next weekend and uh, me and Anna are going to go hang out and she'll probably get a bath today. So we'll see you later. Bye.